So what is going on YouTube? I am sitting inside of a 2019 Ram 2500 and I wanted to show you guys around this truck because this is my first look at the 2019 and I am very excited. I own a 2018 and I just might own a 2019 sometime this year. Just kidding. but. I really do like this truck and it might be a very strong possibility that we'll upgrade in the future very soon. This is this is going to be your standard key for the truck. This is a Lamy Longhorn and I'm going to show you guys the window sticker as I always do. And then I'm going to show you guys the payload of this truck. But take a look at this ginormous screen. I mean, I, I don't know how to use this thing. I mean, this is my first time. I haven't even looked, I haven't even used a 19 Ram half ton trucks. I'm going to set down my camera so I can kind of show you just a few things inside the system. So I gotta admit something, this screen is so big, I can barely get it all on my phone here. So as you can see, I'm, I'm in the media tab right now. If you hit for your uh, controls, you'll have your mirror, you know, your deploy steps. This has a power steps, I'll show that to you on the outside. Heated seats, heated steering wheel, and you're gonna have a cooled seat there, heated seat and cooled for, the, uh, for your passenger in the front, backup camera, see there you can zoom in too this does not have the rear camera for the for the bed and so let's go to apps so here are all your apps here as you can see you can you can still slide these down this is my first time using this truck so I'm kind of learning this all with you just as an FYI so navigation look at that full screen navigation huge you can, you can zoom all the way out. You can see the earth. I love this. It's going to take me forever. There you go. Bam. But really nice. I love that you can do full screen. I believe you can split screen it. When I, when I spend some time in the system, I'll come back and show you guys and give you a detailed view of it. But I'm just going to show you everything that I have, everything that you can see here now. So that's pretty much it. Down at the bottom, you have your track control, tow haul mode, and then you need your for your parking sensors, trailer brake, I'm just going to show you it to you in here, it's going to be for your trailer brake, and while we're over here, I'm going to show you some of the uh, features that you have, you have your audio there, you're going to have any messages that, that come up, and if you want to set up the screen you can do that, it shows your MPG, you can change it to kilometers if you like shows you your tire this is going to just be for your tire pressure monitoring coolant this is pretty much your truck just some stuff data that you have inside of the screen this is a gas model truck too by the way and adaptive cruise control some of your mpg and fuel economy they give you an a and a b2 which is really nice on the other truck it only had it only had one spot for this so they gave that to you as an extra and then this is going to be for your trip again, and we're back to the trailer, trailer break. All right. But look at look how nice these the speedometer looks. It looks really good. The the layout of this truck is just absolutely amazing. If you've seen in the 2019 half ton truck, you pretty much have the same thing. I'm trying to figure out what that button there does. Oh, this actually, if you could see. You can now adjust your spot mirror. That's awesome. That's a huge improvement for my truck. And as you can see, you still have the power mirrors. And as you can see, that little triangle right there. This one be for your blind spot monitoring. Look at these nice handles. Nice carryover from the previous truck too. They do give you this stylish rear view mirror. The one, one thing I'm gonna complain about is that they still give you a manual tilt and the steering wheel still does not telescope and I, I haven't shown you the price of this truck yet and I haven't seen it so we're gonna see it together well not quite but we're gonna almost see it together but I'm very interested to see how much this truck costs down here you have some storage again this is if you've seen the 19 half tons I'm gonna say it many times over you've seen it already. you've seen this truck already before it's pretty much the same truck so I won't spend too much time I want to do a detailed video when I have more time, so stay tuned for that. We have tons of storage in this truck. And 
And since this is a Lamer Longhorn, you get this really nice, real leather upholstery. And every, pretty much every panel in here, I mean, this this is leather up up top, down below. I mean, there's so much leather. And so, look at all the leather on the side of the door. I mean, they they literally put so much leather on this truck. They almost should have just said, "What the heck? Let's put it on the floors," but they didn't. But this is a really nice floor mat. Here's some of your storage that follows over to the passenger side glove box below there. Everything has a nice feel inside of here too. I, if you haven't had a chance yet, be sure to take the time to go look at this truck. And then this is going to be your gear shifter. Backup camera. And then this is for your full wheel drive system too. So the truck that we're looking at today is a 2019 Ram 2500 Laramie Longhorn. It's going to be a crew cab. It's going to have four-wheel drive. Base price on this truck is going to come in at $59,200. This truck's going to have an eight-speed transmission, 6.4 liter Hemi. It's going to be the standard engine for this truck also. Some of your standard features are going to be listed right here. Some of your airbags, park sensors. It's going to have a 373 rear axle. And it's also going to have what I have to point out, which is a dampened tailgate where we're going to take a look at. It's going to have a remote tailgate too. Where's that key at? Let's go. Since I'm sitting in the back seat, let's see. Now, I'm kind of jumping ahead here. As you can see, this truck has the ram box, but I'm going to hit the button twice. It tells you to hit the button twice. And it drops the tailgate down. It will not lift it back up though. Just as an FYI, I just tried to. All right, so that's a standard feature on this truck. So the standard navigation on this truck, even though it's a Lamy Longhorn, is still gonna be the, the 8.4 inch display. So keep that in mind. Of course, you're gonna have Apple CarPlay standard. Comes with the Alpine nine speaker. That's the, that's the standard sound system. So you're, you're gonna have heated seats, ventilated seats, eight way power adjustable, passenger and driver's seat you're gonna have a heated second row and you're still gonna have those floor storage bins and it's gonna show you some of your subscriptions for your navigation for some of your exterior features you're gonna have an 18 inch wheel standard and you're gonna have a bi-function LED projector headlight standard LED tail lights front LED fog lights bed line is gonna be LED spray and bed liner standard on this truck locking tailgate and then power heated folding memory mirrors. Here's some of your options on this truck. So this truck does have the Delmonico, I think I said that correctly, Red Pearl coat exterior paint, $100. Safety group is gonna include adaptive cruise control with stop, full speed forward collision, blind spot and cross path detection. And that's gonna be $795. And then the heavy duty snowplow prep package, 220 amp alternator transfer case skid plate. So really quick, I'm gonna jump down and as you can see, the ram box management is going to be $9.95. And you're also going to have the ram box utility group too, which is going to give you those four adjustable cargo tie down hooks, truck bed cargo divider. And then you also have the Longhorn level one equipment. That's going to be $3,495. Here's some of the equipment that's going to come with that package. 17 speaker Harman Kardon, 17 speakers. Wow. And it's going to have that 12 inch display. Power deployable running boards. Ram charger wireless charging pad, Sirius X, Sirius SM with 360L, blind spot and cross path detection. 410 axle ratio was an option. They opted for it on this truck. And it's gonna have that anti-spin differential rear axle too. Clearance lamps was an option at $95. It was opted on this truck. And the 20 by eight inch wheels were, opt, were optioned on this truck too. Destination comes in at $16.95 with a price tag. Now this is a gas truck, keep that in mind, at $69,145. I'm sitting in the back seat right now, and as you can see, this is gonna be pretty much your standard Laramie Longhorn package that you have. I mean, this is a beautiful truck. Really nice leather. I mean, this leather even on the doors back in the back. I mean, right up top, nice little black leather trim, and it falls down to the bottom on this, pad, on this panel too. You see those running boards pop out but I mean I love that they I love that they continue to do this black roof with this interior it makes it look really nice but look at all that leather up top there I mean it's just so much wood so much leather and I remember them saying that this is real wood trim 
real leather trim. I mean, this truck is really nice for seventy thousand dollars. If you don't need to tow a very large, you know, uh, trailer, I mean, this is a truck for you. I mean, this is a really, really nice truck. I am very, I'm blown away. I'm very excited to see <laughs> what kind of deal I can get on this truck. So here's the storage below the rear seat, and then this is going to be your Harman Kardon subwoofer. It's a little windy today, so let's take a look on the outside of the truck too. I love these wheels. 20 by 8 inch wheels. 285, 60, room 20. And look at this massive front end there. Look at those headlights, my goodness. LED fog lights. Really nice chrome hooks. Wonder if I can put these on my truck. See the lines inside the hood too. If you can see, they put a light tint. They put a light tint on the clearance lamps too. And here's your front suspension. I can tell the frame looks a little bit more glossier too. Gotta show you that side view of those headlights also. Looks beautiful. This truck is so big. If you've been following any of the of the news on this truck, they still carried over this spring system in the rear. And here's your rear bed. Tailgate's definitely like a lot lighter than the previous generation too. And as I mentioned, this has that 410 rear axle. This truck was not an option to have the rear camera for the bed. I felt like that should have been a standard feature for this truck. Here's your red tail lights. And if you've seen the rear box in the past, it's gonna be pretty much the same thing. They're using incandescent lights in here. I think they added this for this generation. I don't know where this goes. Okay. Goes in there. Put these little rubber things, I guess, to help keep things from sliding. This is on the driver's side too. I wonder if we're going to put a cap on the diesel trucks too. It's a beautiful truck. I 
one thing I want to show you if you want to turn your fog lights on or if you want to turn the spotlight on for the for the mirror the buttons right there so I'm gonna turn it off right now look at the resolution on the screen oh my gosh it looks better than mine again I mean they keep making it just a little bit better I'm gonna show you the headlights on this truck and then I'm gonna wrap everything up and show you guys the payload on this vehicle too. Everything on the taillight is going to be LED, including the backup rear reverse lights. License plate lights are going to be LED. If you have the standard high mount, it's going to be incandescent bulbs, unless you get the, the backup camera, which has all LED. So let's find out what the uh, payload is on this truck. The truck is going to have a 5,500 pound gross axle weight rating up front. The rear gross axle weight rating is going to be 6,000. 390 pounds in the rear, which is different from last year's. Gross vehicle weight is going to be 10,000 pounds, which is standard on pretty much all the heavy duties that are three quarter ton. Payload capacity on this truck is going to be 2,735 pounds. Again, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Uh, as I mentioned in the video, you're going to see a lot more content from this truck. This will not be the last video, guys. Stay tuned.